Hey you guys, so I am finally getting to doing a braces update. Um, I'm so sorry I haven't updated in a while, uh, just because my camera that I usually use to film the updates, this Canon PowerShot, just kind of stops recording out of nowhere. And I finally um, got to, I just went online and Googled, you know, um, why does it stop recording? And there were a lot of people that were experiencing the same issue. So I actually got it, um, I didn't know it was still under warranty, so I actually sent it off. And they sent me a replacement, I guess like a refurbished one um, or whatever. So I have that camera now and I feel like, so I tried to record a video a couple days ago and it just shut off on me for, it seems like as soon as it hits 10 minutes, it shuts off. And I don't know if that's just like the longest it goes or what. So I kind of need to look into that more. But anyway, I'm finally making this update for you guys. And um, so I had, I've had several orthodontist appointments since the, my last update, which er, I believe <laughs> was in late November and slash December. So that was a couple months ago, but um, nothing big, you know, uh, in those appointments that I've had. It was just kind of little adjustments and what the orthodontist usually does is he takes the wire out and puts little bends in the wire with his um, like little pliers and then he just kind of puts it back. Um, so I've never, I, ha or not, <laughs> I haven't seen, um, you know, super drastic changes uh, pretty much since kind of my teeth all fell in line. Um, let me just go ahead and show you guys my teeth real quick before I tell you more. Okay, so I, te uh, I, I teeth, oh my gosh, I can't even talk. I think, um, I believe my teeth are relatively straight and they're pretty much where they need to be. So let me just tell you guys about my last appointment that I had on um, about a week ago. It, it was good. So um, he actually said I could get my braces off in two weeks, which is like a huge deal. It's like awesome. But the thing about it is he, um, he said, so he's like, yeah, you would have to check with the front desk to see when they have appointments. So I'm literally like, I'm gonna take off work. I didn't, didn't matter what day it is. Like I'm gonna come in two weeks and you know, get the shit off. But unfortunately they did not have an appointment for a month. So that's kind of a bummer, but I'm not, tr I'm trying not to focus on it that much just because I've had them on for so long that two weeks isn't going to kill me. But um, I'm also trying to not to get my hopes up because I've heard stories where people come in to go get their braces off and then the orthodontist is like, oh, you know, we need to wait two more weeks just because we need to wait for this two to move, um, stuff like that. So I'm not going to be set on March 23rd, but that's when it's supposed to happen. And um, so I took that day off of work and I'm supposed to come in in the morning to get the braces off. And they said they would take about an hour. And um, they said for me to also have an appointment set that afternoon. And that's apparently when I'm supposed to come in to get my retainer. Now, I don't know anything about the retainer part of it. I assume it's just probably something that I wear at night. I don't know if he's gonna, um, give me a permanent retainer that goes behind the teeth or not, but um, I guess we'll just see. Uh, I'm also kind of nervous just because, and I know when I look back at my older videos that my teeth have changed drastically, but I kind of look in the mirror and I'm scared that I'm not gonna be satisfied with the way my teeth look when my braces come off. And I know that's probably what a lot of people feel like when they're cl coming close to get their braces off, they're like, uh, you know, I kind of want, I've envisioned my teeth to look perfect. And I feel like the teeth that I want to have aren't, you know, uh, isn't what I'm seeing now just because, you know, I have different teeth. My teeth are shaped differently, you know, um, things like that. So, but hopefully when I go get my, uh, God, you guys, I cannot talk. Um, when I go get my braces taken off, they're going to do uh, some filing and it will be closer to my, you know, dream teeth, dream mouth than what it is now. But I'm still satisfied. 
I guess like, uh, let me mention a couple other things. So throughout this whole process, I've been having to wear rubber bands at night only. And I've worn the small ones, which are, um, I wish I could show you guys, but it's just like way over there. It's going to take forever for me to get them. But, um, they're about the size of like, maybe like a small fingernail. They're really, um, like small and tight. So whenever I had to put them on, it was kind of a struggle. I usually use tweezers to put them on just because I couldn't get a good grasp with, like with my actual fingers. Since the last appointment I had, he actually gave me some different rubber bands to wear. And the way that he has me wearing them, it's also at night, but it's, um, the, so the rubber band is thinner and it's longer. So it's about the, um, circumference of a quarter, I would say and it's just really thin. So the way that I had to wear my, and let me just move the camera to kind of like show you guys better. Um, so the way I had to wear them, and excuse my hair, um, prior to me getting these new ones was the small ones I just have to wear on like these two teeth and these two teeth at night. So it would just be really tight and a lot of the times was supposed to wear them um, every night but i didn't just because i would forget sometimes and a lot of the times i would just wake up at night and it would be my mouth would be really sore so i would just kind of pop them off and throw them on the floor um during the middle of the night but these new rubber bands are so they're bigger however the way he has me wear them is kind of um zigzagging them through so i would start at the very last tooth and they every brace has a little hook on it so I would start and just kind of like zigzag him out like hooking kind of like um kind of like maybe tying like a shoestring so maybe like on roller skates you know how you kind of go like zigzag through the hooks so like that and I would stop like literally at these teeth right here sorry I just put over there but um so my entire mouth is basically rubber banded shut at night and even though that seems like way more hassle and kind of um, a bigger deal. It's less painful than the other ones. And again, the reason I have the rubber bands or the reason I wear them at night is, um, just to still, uh, improve my bite or have my bite stay where it is. So gosh, let me think of anything else, you know, that I could tell you. I feel like just kind of, it's been going like, kind of like plateauing in terms of the changes I've been seeing and, you know, any exciting stuff, nothing really, exciting has happened. Um, sometimes when I sleep like weird, like with my face, like smushed up against my pillow, um, my braces still rub on my inner of my lip, but that really doesn't happen anymore. Um, I've actually had my braces for one year and maybe two weeks. So hopefully this whole process won't take more than like a year and a month since March 21st is in like two weeks. So uh, I was initially told it would be up to two years. So this is a big um, kind of like under promise over deliver thing that hopefully he's done. So um, yeah, I just really hope I get them off and I'm really excited about them filing my teeth and about, you know, being able to smile normal and just getting out of these braces. Ugh. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, please comment below. I'm so sorry I haven't been making updates just because my camera is shitty. But um, yeah, I will, hopefully the next time I talk to you guys, it will be with my new smile.